All right, so today we're gonna be talking about pears, Asian pears to be specific. That's coming up next. Hello everyone, this is Dwayne with Edge of Nowhere Farm and we're coming to you here today. It's actually the end of September, just a beautiful evening. You know, we got up to about 100 degrees today, but man, we're really expecting it to cool down quite a bit coming this week. So we're really excited about our fall crops, our fall livestock. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to bring you guys something a little bit different today. We actually have another ripe fall fruit. This is our 20th century Asian pear. So this tree we've had for about, oh, almost four years, it'll be four years uh, actually this February March is about when we planted it four years ago so um, we got it in in 2015 uh, so going on just about four years one of the first trees we planted and a little thing about this one that's a little bit different this tree is actually probably the oldest tree that we have here on the property when we got this tree it was actually in a big seven gallon container and it looked like it was probably a tree that had actually been left over from the prior year i think we got it from home depot a little on the big side the caliper was more than an inch so it was a nice big tree when we put it in and you can see from the growth of it, I've actually, I cut it back originally. When I first printed down, I printed to about my knee, right between my knee and my hip. And actually it's grown into this uh, after that first year of pruning. So just a beautiful, beautiful tall tree. Um, it's probably about, I'm gonna say it's probably about 14, 15 feet tall, but it's not very wide. Uh, one of the things that we've noticed with our pear trees, they have a tendency to kind of grow almost vertical. Um, so this tree itself, again, have pruned it a couple different times. We do use winter pruning on this um, to try to keep it down a little bit more, um, but man, it is just a beautiful tall tree. Now, one of the things about this tree, it's a self-fruitful tree, meaning it doesn't need a pollinator. However, it does better with a pollinator, and we do have one, which we're not gonna share with you today, uh, but we do have another Asian pear that it's a pollinator for this tree. They actually pollinate each other, cross-pollinate each other. So our 20th century pear, one of the things about this tree, it's the first year we've actually gotten fruit off of this tree. And Lori and I have noticed because fall apple slash pear type varieties are a little unique for us. In fact, I'll link our winter banana uh, apple tree uh, video here. You can really see that it's a little bit of a challenge for us and something new, uh, but we haven't much, had much luck with our fall fruiting varieties out, outside of our figs and getting into our citrus. However, um, this is the first time that we've had fruit on this tree. What we've noticed over the last couple of weeks is that the birds are starting to attract the, uh, attack the fruit, which is a good sign for us because that means we should be getting some ripe fruit. And we did get kind of a little sneak peek slash taste uh, of a couple that, uh, before we covered these, uh, of a couple that uh, seemed to be pretty ripe and tasted pretty good. So we went through and we covered these with organza bags just a few nights ago. And what we figured is we'd go through while we still had a few left on the tree and hopefully they're ripe. So we're gonna do that with you right now. So uh, if Lori wants to squeeze in a little bit, um, again, Asian pears, Asian pears actually are a little bit different from a traditional pear in that an Asian pear is eaten much like a fresh apple. Usually pears need to be what's called bledded, uh, which simply means that they're actually left out on the counter and they're actually allowed to ripen on the counter after you pull them off the tree. However, however, with Asian pears, you don't need to do that. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and pick one. They are covered with organza bags. I'll link our fig video here where we talk about organza bags and the importance of covering those because we were getting some bird damage here on these fruit. We wanted to go ahead and cover them with organza bags. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try one here. You know, I really don't know ripeness wise how ripe any of these are really gonna be, but a little on the small side, um, but if Lori wants to squeeze in, we're kind of in evening light, uh, but you kind of get an idea of the, the fruit. So it looks like a little bit ripe on one side, maybe not so much on the other, um, but kind of a, an odd looking shape. And I'm gonna go ahead and pick it. Came off pretty easy. Looks like I've got a couple bird pecks on here. Um, so I don't know, we'll kind of see, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and give this a shot. So uh, what I'm gonna do, again, these are more crunchy like a, a ripe apple would be. Um, so I'm just gonna use a small knife and shave a small piece off. And let's take a look at the fruit. Okay, the fruit. So this does look like a ripe Asian pear to me. Um, if you guys have ever had them in the grocery store, they look just like this. Uh, more of a brown color, uh, real beautiful kind of translucent look. Uh, very, very watery, which is good. <laughs> with our fall apples, we haven't had much luck with those, but uh, with this particular one, it looks pretty good. So I'm gonna go and try it. Mmm. Mmm, that's good. Okay. 
So the question, number one question for you is gonna be, have you ever had an Asian pear before? Uh, you know, they can be a little pricey. You know, they come in uh, these weird kind of odd, at least what I've seen, in these weird odd like foam wrappers kind of when you get them in the grocery store. So I had one for the first time a couple years ago and was really impressed with the taste. So the taste, very, very mellow. Um, let's see. Okay, it's similar to an apple. Mm, not the same. It's just a really mellow, mellow sweetness. Um, it, it is very sweet. Not overly sweet though. So not like a fig. It's not like in your face like a citrus would be, uh, but a really, really mellow sweetness. You know, I'll tell you what, it does taste a little bit like a pear. I would say the best way to describe it would be something between like a pear and an apple, <laughs> which I guess is probably the best way to describe it, but more juicy than an apple, um, even like your Honeycrisp apples, it's, it's kind of more water, like a, a watery juiciness, um, but a real mellow, mellow sweetness. Um, so not really in your face, but man, that is really good. Mm, I'll tell you what, I'm impressed with that. A little surprised, wasn't expecting that at all. Pretty good, but uh, 20th century pear. All right, so just wanna thank you guys for joining us today. You know what, if you haven't done so already, hey, subscribe to our channel. You know, we got a lot of cool stuff coming up, a lot of exciting stuff coming up. In fact, I'll link our 100th episode here. We talk a little bit about the direction of the farm. You know, we're gonna be moving on to a six acre farm. And you know, there's trees right now that we're looking at going, ah, do we put these in a the new property, do we not? I was on the fence with this one. I'll tell you what, after trying it today, this one's going in. Uh, it tastes really, really good. But you know, we'd really love for you guys to join us on that uh, new adventure for with us. Uh, and subscribe to our channel. And hey, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section down below. You know, one of the things that Lori and I really enjoy doing is interacting with you guys and this YouTube format gives us a fantastic way of doing that and would really love to do that with you. So just wanna thank you for joining us today and remind you, if we can farm on the edge of nowhere, so can you. All right, so today we're gonna be talking about pears, Asian pears to be specific. That's coming, I'm not sure what I'm doing with my fingers. Let's try that again. <laughs>